Hey guys, Robin with Big Doodle Dreams. And um, as you can see, I'm actually out on the water. So therefore you're not gonna see me, you get to see Bingo. <clears throat> and Bingo, he's, um, he's turned into quite the boat dog. And um, I, he likes going out, but he doesn't like to swim. So this video, of course, is gonna cover the topic of taking your, your dog out on the boat. And I will tell you, then initially I did introduce him to the water and he didn't like it. So we did begin with wearing our life vest and um, he's got a nice dandy one, but in the heat, it gets really hot wearing it and not his, he doesn't want to get wet. So he'd rather just hang out on top of the board and, and paddle around the, the lake. We are on a lake, so you can see, right? Um, I do get him wet. I splash him and I get him wet during our trip and our adventure. Um, one of the things I will tell you, he is attached to a leash and I do recommend using a leash. I do not recommend a collar for obvious reasons because if he did get tied up, caught up, if he got out, um, a collar could strangle him and instead it's, it's a harness that he is wearing. And it makes it easier because if he goes in, I can grab the harness and I can pick him up, pull him right back on board. No big deal. So we use uh, more than one boat. This is a paddle board and, and I do have a regular boat and I can do, I'll add an, a separate video with him on the regular boat. But on the regular boat, I do use the life vest because we do fly and move fast and there would be a greater risk of him and something happening to him. So he, he will wear the life vest on the boat. Otherwise, on the, on the paddle board, we, we don't need to worry about it. One of the things that I will, will tell you is I've seen people do it, tie this off on the boat. I don't recommend it. It's, it's just not a good idea. If dog goes flying out of a boat that's moving quickly and the dog happens to be attached to the boat, that could be really dangerous. Today's a really windy day. We're getting blown all over the place. Um, so just, just some things to be aware. If your dog is terrified of the water, don't, don't subject them to hours on end. Make your trips short, simple, easy. Um, don't have high expectations. You know, like I said, it's a game. It's fun. He's, he doesn't like the water. You know, he's not going to go swimming in it, but he certainly enjoys coming and going with me. So... He's, he likes the trip, he likes to see. We do throw a tennis ball in the water, he's not interested. We are catching a frisbee now, aren't we? Yes, we are, which is awesome, yep. So, you're gonna see a little more of Bingo in a few more videos, um, topics that I plan on covering, one about the Merle Jean and so forth, but boating right now is a big thing because it is summer. So, one more thing I do wanna mention about boating and, and entering into water. Uh, specifically lakes and rivers is you need to make sure your dog has had their leptrosis vaccination and that's a bacteria found in the water and it can cause diarrhea and vomiting and make them very ill it's simple it's easy it's not a big deal to get it so um, I, I will add more video to this so more to come all right so mr. bingo needs to get a little wet right because when we're out on the lake we do get hot and he does need to be cooled off that's probably the easiest way to cool off a dog out on the, the lake is to just sprinkle some water on him if he doesn't want to go swimming right so he's had his his uh, leptrosis vaccination so I don't need to worry about him no Mm -hmm. So not all dogs like water, but they can learn to be tolerant of going out on the boat, of doing things that are a little adventurous, and there's no reason not to. Yeah, no. And he does, he likes to get up into my lap. I said, I can't row if you're in my lap. It's just not possible for me to paddle. But I, I don't take him out for hours on end. We only do maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes. He is still a dog. 
and you don't want to overheat him with this big old coat and no I'm not going to shave him I don't believe in doing that with the Australian Shepherd no so there now we can kind of sort of see the, get the distance it's beautiful out here that's my son in the distance fishing one of the my three sons I'm back with with bingo and we're on the boat and I wanted to show you the life vest because the life vest has uh, multiple velcro and straps and specifically the velcro that goes under the belly and when I put it on him and I know he's going I don't want to wear it see he's been having so much fun without it hooked up on his leg mom yep it is it's caught up on his leg all right buddy I know, but we're going to go fast. So Velcro in the front and I have left his harness on and his uh, leash, but I've strapped it here. So he's buckled here and then I'm going to reach underneath. Come here. Strap him up this way and I'm going to do the fasteners here and this way when we go fast he's safe the one thing I'm going to remind you guys is that if you are out with your dog on the water and you're on a fast boat do not tie them down if they go launching out of the boat if they go launching out of the boat and they are tied down they could wind up going underneath the boat you could lose your dog it would be awful so do not tie them down if you're going to be going fast on your boat and um, the life vest is for his safety. So get one, get a good one. Like I showed you, this has got all that nice comfortable, so it's not uncomfortable for him. But now we're gonna, we're gonna take off and get going. So take care guys, subscribe to my channel.